guys, so today we decided to head out on a day trip to Bremerton, Washington. Bremerton is a small town directly across the Puget Sound from Seattle, and you can get there by either driving south around the Sound or taking the ferry directly from Seattle. Um, it's a very interesting town. Uh, it's fairly small with a population of about 40,000, but at the same time, it has a pretty impressive downtown that makes it feel like a bigger city. There's tons of great restaurants, bars, breweries, and parks, but what the town's known for is its naval shipyard. Um, and on the way into town, you can see some giant navy ships that have come into port to be repaired or upgraded. It's a really cool sight as you enter the town. Hi, baby. Yeah, we're gonna need some lunch. We're in Bremerton. Beautiful little Bremerton, here we go. Going over to the park. See if we can get the stroller through here. Tight squeeze. ESNS Memorial Plaza. This guy. Got some hot coals going. What's your barbecuing today? Okay, so this is not some guy barbecuing. It is instead a statue honoring the women of the World War I era who played an important part in building the naval ships. Uh, these women would heat up and supply the rivets that helped to build the ships. Scotty did later apologize to the statue. The Puget Sound Navy Museum is here. And free admission. I don't know that we have time for it today, but that would be awesome to come back to. I bet that is pretty cool. All right, so I think we are gonna check the museum out. So in we go. Okay, the most incredible hidden gem we've found so far has got to be the Puget Sound Navy Museum. It's a little off the beaten path and it's easy to miss if you're doing a day in town, but definitely check it out. The museum was privately run until 2004 when the US Navy took over operation of it. It's now federally funded 100% free and is staffed by very friendly and incredibly knowledgeable volunteers. We were blown away by not only the quantity, but the quality of the exhibits. You could spend all day here. The building is two floors packed full of all types of displays, some more interactive. Um, we can't recommend this place highly enough. It was truly amazing and we both learned a lot while we were there. Definitely put this on your must-do list if you're coming to Bremerton. Museum is incredible and it's free. Yeah, this place is awesome. Totally free, incredible exhibits, lots of information, really cool stuff on display. Yeah, they have done a phenomenal job with this place. It really is amazing. And they even have a kids area. What fun. Yeah, this place is pretty awesome. Emma, yeah, you wanna drive the ship? Yeah, grab the wheel. Grab the wheel, you can drive the ship. Yeah. She's a little shy to drive an aircraft carrier. I don't I don't blame you. It seems like a big responsibility. These guys, these guys had a tight squeeze in their bunks. Not a whole lot of room to work with. My goodness, it's like a foot and a half of space to sleep in. What's he reading? I'm not sure what book it is. Must be good. He's very engaged. 
So at the southeast corner of town and right beside the ferry is Harborside Fountain Park. This park is absolutely beautiful and it's the perfect spot for a stroll, a picnic, or even just to splash around in the fountains on hot summer days. The park starts at the edge of town, then winds down past the Navy Museum, past the shipyard, and ends at a beautiful waterfront view park. If you hang out long enough, you might spot a seal, which we heard a few today, um, or you might even see a whale, which we did not. Uh, it's definitely a peaceful spot and worth a visit. So there's the museum up there, and these big things are not running right now, but they are fountains. It's a beautiful little park. It goes out to the water. I think we'll be able to see the ships from out there. Emma's having a fun time. Are you having fun? Are you having fun today? Yes, Daddy. What a fun outing. That's good. Got your little mittens on, little pink shoes, and your um, old lady hat, movie star from the 1920s hat, maybe, and your sunglasses. Yeah. What fun. Yeah, this area, this park outside of the museum is really cool. It's right on the water, right next to the naval shipyard. That's it over there. Really cool spot. There's some seals out there. I think we heard we heard some seals. I heard them. Yeah. Emma, did you hear the seal? We're gonna see if we can see any. Definitely heard some. Any seals out there? We spotted seals before and we hear them pretty often. Somebody out there going for a sail in their sailboat. It's a beautiful day. So for lunch, we decided to try something a little different. Just north of downtown is Cafe Kai. This is a hidden gem in Bremerton. The cafe originally started out as coffee drinks and panini sandwiches, but after some time, the owners decided to make a change. Being from Hawaii, they decided to start making a Hawaiian favorite, Spam Masubi. Uh, masubi is a popular snack in Hawaii and it's gaining popularity here as well. Basically, it's just Spam wrapped in sticky white rice and seaweed. This place has a few different versions and they have become a huge hit in town. Uh, today we got to breeze through the drive through but on most mornings, it's a pretty long line. The staff was super friendly, quick, and helpful, and we definitely recommend checking them out if you want to try something a little different for lunch. Everything we had was delicious. What do you think? Oh man, that's incredible. So this is the spicy chicken. Seaweed, rice, and spicy chicken. It's amazing. Um, we also got a spicy tuna, which I'm really excited about, and an uh, bacon avocado, avocado, bacon avocado, which I believe is this spam. one. Yeah, spam avocado bacon. Um, sounds kind of weird. Oh, I know. Sort of sauce. But it works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll have to try out that sauce. Um, sounds sounds kind of strange. You know, spam, seaweed, rice, but it works. Emma's having tomatoes. Very popular here in uh, in Hawaii. And popular around here. We see it a, a decent amount. Let's see what the sauce is all about. Uh, it's really, really good. Mm. What's the sauce like? Is it is spicy? Awesome. Uh, a little bit spicy. Yeah. Um, yeah. A little spicy. Not, like a spicy not too much mayo. Good. Yeah, like a spicy mayo. All right. Mm. 
Sorry, don't eat it all. I want to try some. Uh -huh. All right, this is the spicy tuna, the sous vide. I'm going to try it clean and then I'll do a dip. Really good. Oh, it's still, man. the rice is still warm. Oh, it's awesome. Right. Yeah, we got these things a while ago um, and then no, did the museum. Not that long ago. Not that long ago, <laughs> but the point is they stayed warm. <laughs> We did the museum in between getting these and, uh, and eating. So I thought it was gonna be like sushi tuna, but it's like shredded, like cooked tuna. I thought it was gonna be like yeah. raw. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, kind of like sushi. But it's but good. It's that's awesome. And that sauce is amazing. Okay. Your turn. All right. We'll share. Yay. All right, this one is Spam and avocado and bacon. And I'm pretty excited about it. Mmm. Yeah? Yeah, it's incredible. That's the one I'm excited about yeah. too. Yeah, the, the whole idea of masubi sounds kind of strange, but it works. Sometimes odd combinations just work. And the spam and seaweed and rice, it just, oh man, it's good. And these guys are doing a great job. We want to dip it in the sauce. Yep, do a dip. The Take sauce dip. is incredible. It's spicy, spicy sauce. And let's kick it on the table. <laughs> That's incredible. All right, yeah. don't don't eat it all. <laughs> Uh, we got two beverages from Cafe Kai to go along with our lunch. The first was an iced caramel macadamia nut latte. The other was a plantation iced tea, which is sweetened black tea with pineapple juice. Both were very, very good. Guys, the seagulls out here really are huge. And this guy, he's got something in his mouth. I'm like worried that it's somebody's arm that he attacked. They're serious. I legitimately get nervous of the seagulls out here. They're very large. Oh, he's saying something. I think he's warning us that this is his turf. Uh oh. All right. We'll be out of here soon. I promise. So that was our day in Bremerton. It was a good day. We got to eat some delicious food. We got to walk around the museum and walk around the park. Um, Bremerton's a great town. We'll definitely be back to visit. The weather was so nice and on the way home, Rainier showed up. <laughs>